Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to service your KTM RC at your home. This is the bike shampoo, this is the air filter, this is the oil filter, this is the engine oil, module 20W50. Those are the chain loops and chain cleaner. This one is the rust spray and this is the silicon grease. I bought these things from Amazon. I will give you the link in the description below. And I bought these things from KTM spare parts shop. So the first step is we have to wash the bike. But before that we have to open this portion of the engine. This part of the engine. Now we are going to remove the side panels. So I have removed the all 5 screws 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now you can see there are more 3 bolts this one, this one and this one. So how to remove these bolts I will show you. Just take a small allen key and press it like this. Just press a little. Okay, now we will remove this one. So to remove this one, we have to remove some bolts here. There is a bolt here, over here. This one. And then we have to remove this one. And this one also. And here this one here and here okay so now we will remove the tank cover Now we have to remove this, this, this bolt here, this one and this one here, this one. Okay, now we have to open this fuel tank lock.
now we will replace the engine oil so first loosen it up a bit now we have to remove this bolt here Now come to this side and now we will remove these two bolts here. So this is your oil filter, I need to replace this with a new one. So this is the new oil filter which I have purchased from KTM spare parts shop. Wash these things with petrol. Now uh, I'll put this new oil filter here. Now come to this side. Now we have to fit the strainer. Now we will fill the engine oil through this hole. Check your manual for oil gauge. Different bikes have different oil gauge. In my case, it is 20W50, 1.5 liter. You can see 20W50. Pour the oil through your funnel. Now start the bike for 30 to 40 seconds. Now turn off the bike and wait for a minute. Now observe the oil level. It should reach the upper level. Let's check. This is the upper level and this is the lower level. Now we will replace the air filter. This is the new air filter. To remove this, we have to remove the tank first.
Now check both the brake oil. This is the rear brake oil container. I think I need to replace the brake oil. I'll replace it later. The brake oil level should not go below this minimum level. Now we will check the front brake oil. The front brake oil level you can see from here. There is an indicator you can see from here. Now check the oil cooler level. This is the minimum level and this is the maximum level. In my case the cooler level is between minimum and maximum. After 1000 or maybe 2000 km I will replace the cooler oil. Okay so now we will remove the fuel tank. So first we will remove these two bolts here. This one and this one. Now we have to remove these four bolts here. This one, two, three, and four. Now we will remove the battery. Now we will remove these two bolts here, this one and this one. You have to remove this one also. Now come this side. So to remove the fuel tank, first you have to disconnect three connections. I'll show you how to do this. First, disconnect this pipe from the fuel tank. Now we have to remove this socket here, this white socket. Now we have to remove this pipe at attached here. So this is your fuel filter. Uh, I have already replaced this fuel filter few months ago. So I don't have to replace this now. Now we will check the spark plug. This is your spark plug cap. We will clean the chain. This is the chain cleaner. This is the chain view. And this is the rust screen. Okay, now wait for two to three minutes. Now, 
use this DW40 rust spray. Now we will use the chain wheel. And check it for if there is any oil leakage or any dust. Now we will lubricate to all moving parts like uh, clutch lever, brake lever, gear lever. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please like, share and comment. Thank you.